the state where crimson and cream and the orange and black run deep. Where the thin line between friend and foe can come down to two or three letters. There's only one school that continues to capture the passion and enthusiasm of a community decades after it closed its doors. Dandy, I tribute to you as your colors gold and blue. The Dungy School now sits in decay and disrepair in the heart of Spencer. Mentoria LeCue Mitchell, who was in the graduating class of 1967, says back in the day, however, you couldn't help but sing Dungy's praises. This was the life of the neighborhood, Dungy High School. I, I was on the basketball team, I was in the band, and uh, just all sorts of memories. The all-black school opened back in 1947, named after black Oklahoma City civil rights leader Roscoe Dungy. It served first through 12th grade students. Dr. Donnie Nero was also part of the graduating class of 1967. He remembers a school that was nurturing, enriching, but also tough. Those, those teachers, those educators made sure that we focused on being the best that we possibly could be. So, so there wasn't a lot of time for foolishness or time to waste. Dwight Sampson, class of 1966, says their instructors were a who's who of black educators. So they were teaching because they loved to teach. Clara Looper, Donald Edwards, uh, Nancy Randolph uh, uh, Davis, and many, many more. Rita Beasley, class of 1970, says those teachers, administrators, and coaches helped students navigate a bigoted landscape outside of these walls. Because we were predominantly a black school, we, we didn't experience, at least I didn't, that much of prejudice in the world. But Ms. Looper taught us that it exists. So we were prepared, I was prepared for it when I went out into the world. Dr. Nero says that dose of reality was on full display when it was time to play white schools in football. You know, uh, they would run us out of town or throw rocks at our buses and those kind of things, especially if we won. Uh, but they would never come to uh, Dungy because of uh, being a black school. Our helmets and our cleats and our pads, all of those, a lot of those came from the white schools. They were hand-me-downs too. So we had a, a lot of uh, spray paint and the coaches told us, you know, don't worry about the equipment, don't worry about how you look. So you can go out there and you can look not as good as the other schools, but at the end of the day or the end of the game or the end of the performance, we want you to end up on top. Ironically, after learning to navigate a segregated world, it was desegregation that closed the doors of Dungy in 1972, a move that in many eyes devastated the Spencer community. Attempts to reopen the school over the years came and went. As you can see, this is the Dungy school that's on fire near But Hawaii. a fire in 2012 made the school uninhabitable. The building has sat dormant ever since. Graffiti now lining the walls, abandoned books and chairs now sitting among the ruins. We go up on the stage right here and go up for our productions. I carefully made my way through the school with the alumni group. Had a lot of basketball games and stuff here. So. And immediately, the youthful memories came flooding back. So when I remember, I got second five cents because I won. And I had the same, you can have her. And she had me doing the flat. You can have her. I don't want her. She didn't love me anyway. For them, Dungy was more than just a school. The legacy of Dungy was tied into the legacy of the black experience here in Oklahoma. You know, those teachers would come from Langston. This would be their first job in many places. Yeah. If it wasn't in some of the black towns in Oklahoma, if it wasn't for Bowley and Clearview and Rentiesville, Tatum's and some of those schools, once they taught there, then they would graduate up to Dungy. And those black educators fostered a sense of black excellence. The students, the faculty uh, were family. The, the uh, faculty encouraged the students' uh, pride and take care of yourself and be proud of who you are. We're not ashamed to let people know where we uh, attended school. When, uh, and sometimes when they don't ask us, we are proud to tell them that we went to Dungy High School. It's a pride, much like their fight song, that echoes through generations here in Oklahoma. Dungy, I love you so. Jason Hackett, KOCL, 5 News.